to Dr. Whalen uh, for her leadership through COVID with me, to her team through COVID, through the health department, to everyone that, that was here, and uh, all our COVID-19 briefings that we continue to have hundreds of them between 2020 and 2021. We had to evolve with every decision being made that we could control and not control. It was more or less 99% we couldn't control. We were you know, dictated from the state down, the federal government down, or what we had to do. And we had to figure it out every day and give guidance to the people of Albany County to let them know what's going on first and foremost about vaccines, everything else, about you know, all the, all the different stuff that was going on, the different levels, you know, uh, not being allowed to come to work, come to work, who works, who doesn't work, where you fit in, in order of vaccines, uh, and a lot of other things. And I couldn't have asked for a better partner, you know, uh, not just because of Dr. Whalen's experience and background, um, but just her character. And, you know, and being a fabric of the community, not just in the city of Albany, but in the county. Uh, and honestly, we did a lot through the capital district and, and beyond the capital district. She's been with us a while. And from 20, 2003 to 2009, she was the medical director. Uh, came back, was gracious enough to be the director for me uh, pretty much through this whole term, I want to say, or my, my last 12 years in office, I want to say eight and a half, yeah, the 12. So uh, it's been nice. And, uh, you know, as we move on to our next step in county government, it, it's just good to know that we've had a director that has done extraordinary things and fighting for fluoride. We were just talking about this. This started pre-COVID. It started when I first took over as county executive. Um, and it's been an argument, as we know, for a long time. And it looks like we're almost there. So I do want to thank you for your leadership on that. I supported it. I support continuing getting fluoride in the water, uh, not just for the city of Albany, but for the, for the county. Dr. Whalen, it's kind of hard to imagine uh, you not being here. And it is so reminiscent uh, of, of the, the trauma, the trauma that uh, this city, county, state, country, and world really went through with COVID. And you were a calm voice of reason with scientific reason. And those daily briefings, thank you, County Exec, I know you were doing them seven days a week but it was what we needed. It was that those constant updates, it was that voice of reassurance, it was that medical insight in, it, as we were figuring it out as we went along. Uh, when, you, when you still think we were talking, I was, just got back from Washington DC, people were still talking about some of the direction that was out about staying at home and staying inside. I mean, it, we're, we're still going to relearn those lessons, but. Thank you for being that extraordinary voice. Uh, thank you for always taking our calls when we were calling and texting and reaching out to you and your team as we were working on the nursing home uh, trauma and more. And then thank you most recently on the fluoride. It has been a, a decades long fight here. I'm almost 20 years off the Albany School Board and I can remember it was a losing battle. It was an absolute losing battle. In the meantime, we have children, particularly children in poverty uh, from under-resourced families who have extraordinary uh, decay, um, dental decay. And, and that pays a real price. So yeah, I know you've already promised me you'll continue to be that type of advocate, but thank you for allowing me to join you. It's, um, I couldn't miss today um, because I, I just share in the, in the gratitude, tremendous gratitude, and um, we will, your voice will absolutely be missed. Uh, we all remember the COVID-19 pandemic. It's still hard to think about anything in a government sense or public service sense without thinking about the pandemic and how we've gotten through that situation and how we're still dealing with it now in a lot of different ways. Um, it was one of the darkest time in our county's history. Um, and our family's history and our shared history here in Albany County. Um, but despite you know, the, the pain and the anguish and the, the, the dark times that this county experienced, I look back with immense pride on how our county executive and how our health commissioner handled that entire situation and doing those briefings and not only do, conducting these briefings seven days a week, 
but uh, the innovation you know, that you two brought forward uh, in Albany County with, with testing, uh, with vaccinations, and doing it by you know, certain populations at first at risk, and I just look back with immense pride on all that you've done and the, man, the way that you've managed, and I think you both can look back, and you know, Dr. Whalen in particular, your leadership and the way that you managed that pandemic saved lives without a, without a doubt. And I can recall you know, the MVP arena, going back to the Knickerbocker arena, we all have you know, happy memories of the MVP arena and the Knickerbocker and the Pepsi and all the different iterations. You know, I saw Frank Sinatra when he opened it up, um, but walking into that MVP arena and seeing that vaccination effort was the most prideful moment, the most incredible thing that I've ever seen you know, in that space, in that moment. And you know, coming from a military background, I couldn't help but render a salute to you when I saw you in your vest and just leading that effort. And I'm filled with tremendous pride. Dr. Whalen, I will say it was great working with you. You're a professional. You turn a cheek a lot. Well, being a woman in the public sector is different. And I admire how you have handled it. And I, you are my mentor. And I hope I um, can carry myself as just as professional as you. You've done such a great job. Everybody talks about how well you did during the pandemic, but it was ongoing. In my last four years, or my last four years, my first four years, I do really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, on behalf of the uh, Albany County Legislators Health Committee, we'd like to thank Dr. Weiland for your years of public service. Uh, public service is often underappreciated, and we appreciate everything you've given to us. And my quick story, uh, my first exposure to Dr. Weiland, I was a legislator for about two months. Didn't really know what was going on as, in that role. And then COVID hits, of course. Uh, teachers were home, we couldn't go to school, uh, and we got an email about joining the MRC, so I took advantage of that. And it was literally the first couple of days of the telephone operation, and uh, Dr. Oylen came in, we were trying to figure out what was going on. And she didn't have um, you know, all the staff take, making sure things were going on. She was right there, first day on the floor, making sure we knew what we were doing, what that process was gonna look like, and came through, made sure we had water and donuts too, to get you know, all the phone calls. But again, it's that kind of leadership. Uh, Andrew mentioned it as well. Being right there uh, with the group, you know, with the, the, the crew, getting things done uh, on the floor level. And that kind of leadership is going to be you know, greatly missed. So appreciate again your time and your service. And we wish you the best in your next endeavors. My name is Ray Joyce. I'm chair of the Albany County Health Committee. And it was a pretty easy gig. Uh, Commissioner Whalen came in, I think, about 2015, 2016. And she made it easy for us. It was an honor and a privilege to serve with her, an absolute pleasure. Uh, the grants, the programming, it made us really, really proud. And I said, this is the easiest committee in the whole entire legislature. And 2020 came, and Andrew said it best. I couldn't be any more proud of the work you've done. Um, again, like I said, I just came down here to say thank you to Dr. Whalen. Um, our county is safer and much more healthy because of you, so thank you so much. For those of us who have had the opportunity and the pleasure to deal with her, uh, it was always personal, professional, and medical. Whether it was helping a uh, frantic constituent find out what they need and how they were to circ uh, circumnavigate the COVID regs, the testing procedures, et cetera, she and her staff were always there for any of us who called. Uh, and I can't thank you enough on behalf of not just my colleagues, but all the colleagues in the legislature. And I read with great interest uh, the story in the paper about what you're doing uh, for the next chapter of your life. You're going to get board certified in lifestyle medicine. And that's where cardiology and diabetes and obesity and uh, uh, anxiety uh, all intersect. I just can't thank you enough for everything you have done for this county, uh, the people I re represent as well as my colleagues. Thank you so much, we'll miss you. I wouldn't have missed this today, Liz, for many different reasons. Um, I used to tell Danny about his um, his CNN reports that he would give during the pandemic because I was very proud of the way in which the whole thing was handled. And of course, you were one of the most important pieces of that whole um, dilemma that we went through. 
the way the information was given out. Anything that we asked of you, um, right along with our county executive, you were there. Um, whatever help you could give, you were there. And there were many, um, it affected, of course, we know everyone. Um, but in my community, we felt that we were hit very badly. And um, when we realized uh, the week after that Sunday um, that so many people had contracted the um, COVID, we lost a lot of people. But the way that whole thing was handled, it was important. It was so important to have someone in, in the position that you were in to be working with the county executive the way you were, to sit just like you all are sitting now and to be able to tell us the condition of the county and where we were. It got, we had an opportunity to really know just what public health is all about. And so I say this, losing you, um, you're gonna leave a huge gap you know, in our services. I do wish you well in whatever it is that you, you are going on to, um, but just say this, you have served Albany County in a great way. And wherever you are and wherever you will be, they will be receiving one of the biggest gifts that we could give them in you. So I just want to say thank you so much for all of the work that you have done for us. You know, I would really like to first and foremost thank the county executive um, for the opportunity to be able to do what I've um, been able to do for the past eight and a half years. Um, the partnership that we had, and we were discussing this before coming down uh, during COVID, uh, I know um, Mr. Bergdorf made the remark that public health isn't political, but that unfortunately wasn't the, the truth in every county. It was certainly the truth in Albany County. And I think that is uh, down to the leadership and down to the fact that, um, you know, uh, you wanted to do what was best for the residents of Albany County and to make sure that the information that they received uh, throughout the pandemic was evidence-based, was based on um, what made the most sense uh, in a very rapidly evolving landscape where there was certainly a lot of uh, anxiety and depression and unknown. Um, so to have the opportunity to be able to um, sit by your side at those press conferences and to, to talk about things from a medical perspective, I think really uh, was, was great and, and I hope um, was able to benefit um, the residents of Albany County. So, so thank you for that and thank, well, you for, thank, uh, you. thank you for the past eight and a half years. Um, I, I do want to thank all the wonderful members of the county legislature. It has been such a pleasure to work with all of you and I have always felt supported um, in all the work that I have done and Comptroller Rizzo and Assemblywoman uh, uh, Fahi as well. It really is a tremendous uh, network of leadership in Albany County. I think it's, I would say it's the strongest in the state. And uh, you know, when you're able to work through an incredible challenge with cohesion and not divisiveness, it really makes uh, it easier. Um, I also want to thank the uh, other department heads, and particularly those that are here today. Uh, you know, Albany County has an amazing network of programs and services. And, uh, you know, the, the response during the pandemic was a partnership with all of you. Uh, you know, we needed to take care of people's mental health. We needed to take care of children. We needed to, to, to address concerns related to housing. Um, we had staff from other departments that came and worked at the health department and assisted with the, you know, really, uh, we, we couldn't do it with just our staff alone. So, you know, with providing contact tracing and speaking to concerned members of the public and people really rapidly learned how to do that and how to help they always came willingly and they always came with enthusiasm and with a real um, mission, I think. I think that's what I, I would say that I remember most is how much people wanted to help and how much people really gave of their own time to be able to make the, uh, the really difficult experience um, that we were all going through uh, less difficult. So, so thank you to all of you. Um, Really, most of all, 
Uh, I want to say that for the past eight and a half years, I have been incredibly fortunate and blessed to work with the most amazing and dedicated staff at the department um, that I could ever, ever wish to know or, uh, you know, work with. You've all been, um, you've all been friends and you have been uh, incredibly committed. Really, uh, again, just can't uh, underpin the fact that I think that uh, Albany County is a, a county with its act together and uh, to, the together piece is the most important and, um, and I think that, um, you know, that is uh, down to leadership and down to uh, really the collegiality and um, um, respect that you all give each other and allows our county to keep moving from strength to strength. So thank you very much. You know, look, at it, we went through a lot of trials and tribulations. I think Winston Churchill said it the best. If you're going through hell, keep going. Uh, that's how it was through COVID and everything else we've been through. So uh, I do want to thank to you, to your team, your extraordinary team at the uh, health department. Thank you so much for everything that you have done.